carefully dot this in here. Okay, so we've got the sulfuric acid up here. So let's make batteries right here. Find a clear spot. The bus. So take some of that. Keep going up. Now the batteries... Could do this this... Well, I was gonna say we could do it the same way, but we really only want to do one side of this. So let's take... This. Kind of just copy that idea. Let's take the... All the way up to the... belt that it loads onto. Just kind of go to there. Like that. Rotate. I'm trying to think of which way I'm going to do this. I guess I can turn the belt around for there. For the end product. Well, be making batteries for another component so we can just do that up here let's just pull that into here <clears throat> bring that sulfuric acid up in fact we can do could be a little cheeky here we could do something like this we need to pull the sulfuric acid into here that means that needs to be put in there. So that's got to do a little squiggle. This needs to be the iron and the copper, right? So we can get that double sided coming in here from over here. Pulled off the right side of the copper recently, so let's take a space out right here. Borrow from the second line of copper. Over one, up one. And then we bring an iron off of this. To that. And there we go, combined. Well, I guess we can bring it over to there. There we go. <clears throat> so that should work now. I don't know when the last time we balanced the copper was either. Just in case. Cool. So batteries are coming out here. <clears throat> Perfect. Let's just I was hoping that was gonna be able to be replicated, but I think we just need to duplicate one side and the other side. I don't know how many more of these we would need, so I'm just gonna do that. No, no. You're way off. This didn't overwrite my other blueprint. 
That'd be worse. I don't reach that. Okay. So the batteries then need to be combined with iron plates. It shouldn't be too hard to make accumulators. We will make the accumulators facing to the left. So we'll bring the batteries out. How far do we come over here? We only came down right here. It's fine. So we'll just bring it down here. If we need to expand, we will. As per usual. Come over after three. Let's bring... Pull off of the second row of iron, similar to what we did a moment ago. We know we want to come out at a certain place here, so let's make sure... Ooh, okay. Right there. We need to bring this under to here. Then this will split. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> and I tried so hard to have it come out in a specific place, but it's actually this row right here that it needs to come out under. A lot of these end up having like stuff going in two different directions, but I'm fine with that as long as they get what they need. Let's stop there. Accumulators. Can you use these? You cannot. Most of these can't use these. That's fine. All good. covered through here. I guess that does need a long distance one to reach. Sure, six. Bring those over and we can combine those with the radars because they're only loading onto one side. There we go. All right, so we'll check for bottlenecks later. Again, all of these have been designed to be tileable. So we will find bottlenecks and improve upon them later. Solar panels. We never loaded anything on the other side of solar panels either. So what else do we need for satellites? The rocket fuel we have, the low density structures we have, the processing units we have. Okay. We need a lot of components. I guess that's because it's one of the last things that you make. So you have to figure out how to get five different things to it. <clears throat> the low density structures over here on the right. We're gonna need to split off of this. We need to bring these over. But yeah, we'll wanna make the satellites over here. Let's bring the low density structures in down here. Also bring in the blue processing units right here. Got a couple of these. And the others, the others actually don't need to go as high as they have. 
We need to bring them across. Do that right here. And with that one. How much of that ended up in my inventory just then? <laughs> Take some of this stuff away. Okay, we're actually pretty good. So what we'll do here is we'll do a different style than what we've been doing for a lot of our other belted loads. We will, what's the ratio here? 100 low density structures, 50 rocket fuel. The rocket fuel's gotta come in, we didn't do that. Hundred solar panels, hundred accumulators, the radars can definitely share. Honestly, with the rocket fuel instead of the accumulators. But it only needs five radars. Um, so we may have really overdone all the radars. Um, <laughs> let's just keep as much as we can. Let's say let's keep as much as we can on its own belt, but no. No, swap solar panels and radars over here. I need the accumulators to... to side load here. Instead, <laughs> quite a few accumulators. All right, take those away, use them for the next grid that I build. So with this, we'll combine rocket fuel. So we'll pull off some rocket fuel here. Bring it under. Combine it here. And I'm... Okay, yeah, we can make this work. We can make this work the way I'm thinking. So this is gonna have to come down and we'll load in from two sides and then we'll offload in between. And what I mean by that is bring a row across. Starting here. All right, we will We'll use stack inserters. Well, no. One stack inserter. Two long reach. Same here. You make satellites. One, two, three, four, five, six ingredients. And what are we? Do we have something extra we don't need in here? Solar panels, accumulators. Another six ingredients. I don't know why I was saying five earlier. Okay. Whew. All 
right, so then, once it produces, we'll have it pull off. The belt here that will then offload up. Similarly, I have another one right here. It'll do the same only to the left. There you go, and now that should be tileable. I'll have to give it power, of course, but that only needs power through there. Okay. Wow, it already ate through all the accumulators. All right, well, maybe maybe we didn't do, maybe we didn't have overkill there. This is where we're really gonna have to ramp up a lot of our other production, these satellites. I want, I don't, I don't know if we're gonna be able to saturate this much, but I just want to push this all the way over. There we go. And the end result is that we have satellites that we can deliver to the rockets. Do the rockets need anything else? I don't think so. What is this music? Our house. I, I know I've heard it before. So they need the fuel, the lightweight, control unit, the satellite. That's it. Fuel, lightweight, control units, satellites. Hey, hey. That Axel Doc? Axel Doc, thanks for the follow. We are approaching overkill. <laughs> okay. And we're just inside of our RoboPort range here too. We haven't expanded over here yet, which is just this. It's off by like one, that's fine. more landfill for them to work on. Yeah, they can reach it now. So now we get to explore what it is we don't have enough of. Everything. We have plenty of radars. Everything else needs to ramp up, including, including the, uh, the fuel, Low density structures. Whew. Okay. Let's look at fuel first. What is our. The light oil is keeping up. Let's expand this. Let me move out of the way here. Now this also could use, ugh, it could use beacons that we didn't design this around, but beacons can't reach past the, the pipe arrays that we have, but they could squeeze in here. So I guess we'll do that. Let's see, let's turn
carve out this middle for a second. Let's get some beacons. Let's get a um, tileable set up here. Let's say we know that we're going to need to hand off here and here and go underground here to here. One. Might as well have you go here on the end. And that should be tileable. We can do even better. Move these over. Oh no, but this might... Yeah, it's gonna throw us off because now we're not receiving from two. That's fine. It's fine. No. So we still need this one. And this should cover all of them then. Ah, uh, we didn't copy paste the beacons with the things in them. That's fine. You can control click. As long as we have the production. We do, we have 15. So that should help a little. A little. Of course, I'm not satisfied until they're saturated. And they're not going to be saturated soon. I'm surprised that we're still chewing through this light oil. I'm thinking about this. Don't touch the other shore. be a possibility. It's particularly not going to be great once once the rockets start pulling off this. only made like nine satellites. It's fine. I don't need to be moving fast. I just want to maybe saturate them. Right now we're getting one, two, three, four, five groups fed. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we're only producing half of what we need. So that being said, we could possibly duplicate this without moving all the way over here just yet. What if we put it here? Here's what I'm thinking. Let's put one of these up here. Get rid of you. Then you're still needed down here or something. There, you're fine there. Now, if we take all of this, including the power, I guess I'll grab that RoboPort too, even though I don't want to keep it. And 
grab the top. That's fine, though. We could squeeze this in here. I can make this work. That there. We'll just have to finagle these pipes just a little bit. Why didn't it grab the underground pipes? That's a little weird. Those need to be here. There's room. I was worried about putting beacons there, but we're not going to need to do that. It doesn't look like. Let's repair these. production on solid fuel, we'll see. How are we doing down here on stuff? How's the trains? How are the trains? Still going. Unloading just fine. Loading just fine. Okay. a little worried about the, the production of some of these belts. We might have slowed it up at some point. So then this... can join up up here with more production. That needs to be, okay, moved it high, but it needs to be lower. So it can reach the arms. Not all the pipes have made it in yet. Guess they're working on it. Oh, we still need to connect the actual fluid, which I guess I'll just do right here. We could have used straight across pipes here. I don't know why with my design I did the underground. Maybe it was during a point where um, pass through was not working, squeak through. You're not getting solid. Why are you not getting solid? Not making it down there. Okay, so we will need beacons here after all. You take... They do take productivity modules. Alright, so... Tricky. Do the same for the bottom. We only had so many productivity modules.
And then we will begin them if we need to. We need to. Right? No. No, I made them face the wrong direction. That's okay, we can just rotate. The only reason that the pipes are along the top was to share across. Same here. Okay, now we can paste. So it was facing the right direction when we initially copied and pasted, which made sense. But in my head, I thought I needed to rotate. There we go. So that should help a little bit at first. We're really only providing enough for six. They're still getting light oil. It is slowly decreasing over time. I guess their main bottleneck right now is accumulators. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Now let's get um, beacons on these first. Okay, so we have power. Let's just fit as many as we can in here. The speed modules. I don't know how many we can fit below. We'll try. Actually, we could fit more if we do. You're out. Like that. Yeah, that reaches. That one does not. This doesn't have to come from here, so we could fit more in. We do have to leave room for power on these, though. Move this two over. We can't. Okay. All good. We could put one here if we don't plan on expanding it any further. Which I guess right now we don't. Anything like that on this side? Kinda. Yeah. Do some over here. I think that reached. Yes. Now if just uh we just have to wait for this stuff to be delivered. Lightweight. You're not getting enough copper. Oh my. All right, so we actually need to... Oh, we just got a, an achievement. Produce 20 million electronic circuits. Very nice. <clears throat> it's been a long time since I've gotten an achievement. So, I don't want to expand this until we actually get enough copper in here. What do we look like for copper up here? Got a big patch there. We've got some here that we're not pulling from, and some here. 
So with these here, we might as well mine these, refine them, and then add it to the bus. We've got room up here to do that. So that we will do. Side quest. <laughs> We'll just we'll feed it into the bus wherever it's convenient because anywhere back here would be fine okay so here here's one <clears throat> maybe we could just refine it refine this one here and then refine the other one separately let's uh, grab efficient mine efficiency blueprint for mining here Kind of see if this right here can just be plopped on top. Kind of. It's a little smaller. And this needs to be fixed. Nope, that's gotta come over here and down. It does, however, appear to use just as many left or right, so that's kind of cool. <clears throat> Clean these up. That side loads to here, so that'll stay. hard to clean up just gonna line up here hey hey the adventures of coyote thanks for the host welcome everybody thank you very much we are currently just pulling some new copper into our bus to supplement a large project that we're doing where we're trying to feed quite a few rockets. Let's see here. So right now I have an array of about 24 rockets that we're going to try to supply. Now this is kind of a off the top of my head kind of design because I'm still working with uh, trying to do a lot of these projects uh, as like a puzzle for myself as opposed to trying to find a blueprint for it. So that's what we're doing right now, but as you can see, this far down the bus, and the bus runs... Another challenge for this was the map is kind of this corkscrew shape. <laughs> so our bus actually gets fed into initially right here, and our, our starting point was sort of towards the middle of this continent right here. But then that sort of comes out in a counterclockwise almost a spiral I mean it may eventually continue over in that direction but we brought the bus over here and now we brought it up and now all of this is dedicated to overkill on science production and up here we just started this project today all of this is dedicated on overkill to um, rocketry production so we're in the post game now this is the rainbow train it is not as efficient as most <laughs> Most ways of delivering science, but the project was for each car to have a different color of science. So it just goes up along through <clears throat> along through all the overkill science production, loads up a rainbow train and then brings it down and loads them on a conveyor belts, so makes a rainbow. In fact, I'll show you that. That's right down here and it unloads right here into all of our labs. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, um, I've got about 300 hours in. I am by no means the most efficient player. If if you've seen other players do a lot more efficient stuff, stacking stuff, I use belts a lot more often. I do try to make it look kind of nice. I try not to spaghetti too much where I can. I try to bring things together. We've used a lot of, um, we've used a lot of uh, really streamlined um, blueprints for balancers and for offloading trains 
we do have a another challenge here that I posed to myself, which is just to have a single train line that would go up and down. However, we ended up having to diverge it into several because they were causing traffic that was a pain. And I didn't want to spend every stream trying to negotiate train traffic. So there's that. Nice. Okay, so... We could bring another couple of roboports down here just to make sure we have coverage in case. Just in case. Yeah, White Science, right now, like when we when we reached end game, we just had our one rocket here. And all of this was to build what it needed. But even at that rate, it's still a little slow on the lightweight. Or what are they called? The low the low density structures. That slowed up. But I haven't bothered coming over here to figure out exactly what slowed up on it. Probably the copper. Um, because now we're working on our new project, but, uh, yeah, we, when we reached end game, it was with this and now it just sends the satellites and then offloads the white science here. But I think what we're going to do here is just go ahead and pull off copper here, smelt it. And I might actually use a different method and use beacons. I don't normally use the beacons for it, but... We'll pull off here into some smelt uh, into a smelting column. Let's in fact go up with these. And then we'll load it onto our bus to supplement the bus because yeah, it's a little choppy once we get this far down for copper plates. How's your night going? A lot of people indoors tonight. <laughs> That's for sure. It's my usual streaming night, but uh, I would not be out at a bar right now. <laughs> let's uh, let's leave room just in case we need to do like two columns. Actually, now that I think about it, let's turn very quickly here. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space, but let's bring one down and one across. Let's do the usual load in furnace. Do I have any on me? I do plenty electric furnace. I want to consider beacons, but if I do, I'll put them like over to the sides. We'll just do the standard here. Yeah. So what, uh, what types of games do you stream, uh, Adventures of Coyote? I myself am a variety streamer, so I tend to, to stream stuff like Factorio. I had a long-running City Skyline series, a lot of simulations. I also do a lot of randomizers, and I try to do corruptions. Anything that's kind of neat and random and unexpected, I love to stream that kind of stuff. Let's see how that pulls. I would have to go one below, wouldn't I? Hmm. I wonder if it would actually be as simple as just loading it onto one <clears throat> and then loading it into a balancer. I guess I could do a five to four balancer if it would fit. Let's look at our balancer book here. You know, I bet that could squeeze in here somewhere. We do have our pipes to look out for, but we can kind of squeeze it in like this. Right here. Now let's do that. Let's take that out. Down to here, actually. Hey, bud. Getting a visit from the cat. Hey, hey. If he lays down in his bed, I'll turn on the cat cam. He might try to crawl. <laughs> he might try to climb up on the desk. Five to four. Okay, we're gonna squeeze that right here. Let's 
pull these back just a little bit further. Upgrade these. I should just go through the book and upgrade all the blueprints because we never want to leave red now. Alright, so we will take... Actually take these back just a few more too. There's no reason to not give ourselves room here. Let's say... Come all the way back here even. <laughs> He's trying to join us. Hey bud, I got stuff on my desk. Come here. Come here. Say hi. <laughs> oh. Okay, say hi to everybody. It'll take just a second. Aww. <laughs> oh. He's an old man. He's 16. He has one eye. And he is an emote now, if you would like to use the Mr. Miyagi emote. <laughs> it's available. All right, buddy, you should lay down. You'll be more comfy. Nope, no claws. He's like, don't put me down. Right, we gotta go down. He's a good boy. <laughs> 